Hey everybody, it's Patty Dobrofolsky with Up Your Creative Genius and our Creative Genius U series. We're at episode 10 and we're studying the intuition right now and how we can improve and expand it. Now, Dr. Daniel Kahneman is one of my favorite people to follow. He got a Nobel Prize for his work in intuition and economics and how intuition influenced people's economic decision making. And one of the things that he found was that often we will revert to a negative bias when we are making decisions around money. And this really impedes our ability to get the whole gamut of what our intuition has to offer. So how do we access and tap our intuition at a deeper level? Well, Eckhart Tolle would say that that negative bias influences and is part of the natural workings of our subconscious mind. It interferes with everything. And so unless we get in there and interrupt that negative bias, it will influence us and it will influence some of the decisions we make even on an intuitive level because it will project the worst case scenario. And so how do we know that the worst case scenario is real or that it's fabricated by our ego? And that's what this week's episode is about, ego versus intuition. So how do we know the difference? What does our intuition feel like? Well, for some people, it's actually a sensation that you feel in your body. You feel this gut sensation or something tugging at your heart, or some people feel it in their third eye, this feeling of expanded awareness, or they hear a sound coming in. And each of us experiences it differently. Well, how will we know if it's our ego or it's our intuition? Well, ego is always looking to improve upon whatever you're doing to make you look good. So if it's scared about something, it's going to give you a nudge to make you stay out of trouble and not put yourself in a bad situation. That's how you know, is that it comes from a place of fear. When authentic intuition, that guiding sense of you, is really looking to empower you to do the best things. Now, I'm a live illustrator, so I'm working with my intuition all the time because I'm trying to come up with an image as it flows through about a concept that someone's telling me. Now, how do I do that? I have to get out of the way, and I have to let the images flow through me, right? It's just like unimpeded flow of something coming in and that's what your a good relationship with your intuition does it allows these bright ideas to drop in and give you insight as to what your next move is well how do you know or how can you figure out how to tap that like some of you may not be familiar with how your intuition is actually talking to you speaking to you and so last week, I had you turn up the volume a little bit, but this week, let's do something a little different. Let's take that to the next level, meaning let's identify the way that your intuition is speaking to you. So is it an audible thing? Is it something that you feel in your body? If so, where do you feel it in your body? And can, is it speaking to you in a variety of different ways that you aren't even familiar with? So how is it speaking to you? Understanding that is the first step. And step number two is for you to try to expand it and to close the gap between when you get the nudge and when you actually take action. So let's say you get a nudge. Normally what it does is it processes through your brain and your brain is like, well, is that really my intuition talking or is that my ego? Should I do it or should I not? Should you do some kind of tapping mechanism or should I use my body as a pendulum? Really, when your intuition gives you insight and, and nudge, if you do it right away, it's much better especially if you understand that it should not be related to fear. It's not a fear response. It's a knowing response. It's giving you insight to move right now on something so that when the window opens for you in your business or your relationship or your health or your life, that you walk through that. And that's our goal. 
So figure out how does it work in your world? What's your intuition? What, what is it using to speak through you? Then ask yourself, are there other ways that it's giving me tips? Like, is it giving it to me in a visual form as well? Is it giving it to me an in, in insight in my dreams? And then see if you can't close the gap between when you get the insight and the time it takes you to take action because that's what we're going for, that fast moving action so that you can access that creative genius you at any moment, every time you're up against a challenge. You'll know exactly what to do because your intuition will be guiding you. Okay, that's our tip of the week and that's your access point for your intuition this week. I can't wait to see you next week. Until next time, up your creative genius. Let's do this.